Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So it has been a while, like it actually has been so long. Um, uni deadlines, that's my only excuses. But 2000, 2018, I'm planning to just focus on both, try and get videos out every week, if not every other week, and also get my deadlines done. That's my biggest priority at the moment. So I apologize that I haven't been on job and it's been a while. So anyway, let's actually get into the video. I was kindly enough contacted by Gamis and they were like, oh, Honor, we're gonna offer you a voucher, get some stuff from our website and review it on your channel. I was like, cool, sounds like a good idea, why not? I ordered a range of stuff, I ordered a wig. So I wanted to see, it had a hair section on their um, website. I was like, okay, real human hair, it said human hair wigs. So I thought, okay, let me review the hair. Um, they had clothes, so I've obviously got clothes and some other bits like makeup, brushes, coats. I wanted to see everything they had to offer. Oh, I wanted to see everything they had to offer. I'm going to talk about these makeup brushes. So five eighty nine dollars, and I actually used them today to do my makeup. So these are the ones I haven't used, and these are the ones I have used. And the only thing I could say is, when I was dipping this into my makeup, there was a lot of like fallout from just touching the eyeshadow. The way these brushes are made, they create a lot of fallout. For example, I put my base colour on and I put the brush down on the table, so much fallout will come from the brush and onto the desk that I'm doing my makeup on. So I just find these a little bit messy. Also, on some of the smaller brushes, this is a good example, um, on the actual stick that the brush is on, it doesn't really fit properly and it's like, if I pulled enough, I feel like I'd be able to pull this top bit off because it hasn't been crafted properly on the wooden stick, if that makes any sense. When you're doing your makeup, it's got a very strong chemical smell. I don't know if it's like an antibacterial thing, but it just smells so processed as if it's just come straight out of a factory. It smells like glue. It just smells very industrial and chemical. Is that a good way of describing it? Yeah, but for five pounds, I cannot complain. Very cheap, and I'd say, if you're starting off with eyeshadow like me, worth your money so guys i got a human hair wig and if i show you the photo i'm gonna insert a photo here so you can see what the wig looks like it looks like a chocolate brown i received this wig and if you see the picture it's um a straight haired wig and it looks as if it's short at the back and longer at the front it is more like a honey chestnut color i personally don't think it goes with my skin tone and again it's got a very, very, very strong chemical smell to it. I was like, okay, I couldn't really tell if it's human hair or not because it's extremely soft, but then it's kind of got split ends. So I feel like it's synthetic mixed with human hair. I went to straighten it just to see um, what would happen and it just gave off this smell of burning and just the chemical smell was even more stronger. And I was with my friend and she was like, oh no, it stinks. It's like, it smells like something's literally burning. After I turned the straighteners off and everything. But it came with no instructions on how to look after the wig, no branding, nothing. It literally just came in a little plastic bag with a net on it like that. So I don't really know how to say it, how I feel about that. I think I'm gonna give it to my flatmate, but me personally, I don't, I don't know, I just don't think wigs are for me. My hair is very dark, this is very light, it's a bit obvious it's a wig. I'm um, not too happy about that, and I don't think it's worth the $93. I can go over that. So next, I'm gonna talk about this all in one piece, and I'll insert the photo of it here. So obviously, in the picture that you guys saw, it looks like a greyish color, but it's actually a blue color. Um, also, this string came unattached to the actual outfit if that makes sense so you get the string separate and then the outfit and you have to put it together yourself it is actually surprisingly quite thick material and it's very soft and it's just quite nice to lounge in the only thing i'd say is the legs on this are a little bit short very short so they're almost like ankle swingers in a way i kind of like something to scrunch around my legs a little bit and because they're short and my calves are a little bit bigger they kind of flare out a little bit at the bottom just a tad and it just looks weird so if i had some shoes like uggs or something this would be a go-to outfit so the next item is this kind of fleecy jacket it looks amazing on the website it just looks so warm i thought wow like give me caramel you're giving me some caramel vibes fleecy vibe they're taking the piss i can't lie this is the biggest joke if i spent my money on this do you know how mad i'd be i'd be fuming you know when you have like a warm jacket and this is the material they put inside you will never catch this material on the outside it's got a horrible colored zip 
that's not the same colour as the fleece. It looks nothing like the picture. The picture looks fluffy, it looks warm, and in the picture you can see the lining on the inside is fluffy as well. The lining is a shit fleece. This is awful. This is so badly made. You can even see the stitching on the inside coming out. Awful. That's basically $20. Might, might may as well be. And it's that misleading. I, I'm so shocked. I saw this poncho. Here's the picture here. And I thought, that's cute. Like, I have a really thick, like, khaki winter jacket this year. And I thought, a poncho underneath would be nice. Sometimes in winter you just want to wear a cute little jacket. So I've got those little suede Zara jackets. And you want to just throw something on the top to keep you warm. Like a massive chunky scarf or like something like this. And I've never had a poncho. So I saw that it comes in one size. So the neckline is really thick. It's not proper wool and it's not proper thick. Like for example on the inside it is a bit rubbish. I have to be honest. But... For the price it was $14.78 pence sticking with the winter theme and keeping warm and everything like that i got myself this uh jumper i'll insert a picture here i thought stylish with some high-waisted straight leg trousers or with some jeans i like the sleeves on it i thought i can't you can't go wrong i could even get one of those massive Pharrell hats, you know the hats that Pharrell wears, like a massive black Pharrell hat. I'm already seeing outfits in my head. I'm not let down, but I'm just a bit like, really? It looks like the picture, I can't like, I just expected it to be a bit thicker. The sleeves, there is so much extra fabric, and in the picture it falls nicely, and just looks nice. Um, whereas this, it's just bulky fabric, it's not just cheap fabric, and it just doesn't look as nice. And it's see-through as well, in the picture, the quality of it looks thicker, it doesn't look like it will be see-through, so you have to be kind of a bit cautious of what bra you're going to wear inside. So this is what it looked like on the lovely lady over here, styling it with one shoulder off, just like I'm doing as well. Um, for some reason, I pictured it a lot thicker than it was, but obviously not. I can't lie though, I'm looking at the fabric now. When it came, I was a bit like, oh, that's a bit shit. It's a bit, it doesn't look like the picture, but when I'm looking at the picture now in front of me and I have it on, I can see that the fabric is almost identical. You know blogger pictures, they always look better than what it's actually going to be like. It is what it is. It was $12.66 and in pounds it was £9.49. So pence, sorry. So um it was under a tenner. I can't really complain. It's just gonna be cute with like a leather jacket or a denim jacket. I don't know, it's just a nice piece I think and I think it will bring me through into the spring months as well. Next I'm actually wearing another item, this choker. Vintage false leather round statement choker necklace in black. They had it in red and white. It's not real leather obviously but it's quite long and it's got three different measurements and I use it on the smallest one but even still it's a little bit too big but what can you do? Um, I'm happy with this. I feel like for example look at this top without it just plain i feel like it just brings a little bit of something to the outfit moving on to a little two-piece i thought oh this is cute it's like one of those things i'd wear it to like a uni party and then i'll never wear it again it is from a costume material so sorry it's a really shit way of showing them but i just put the lace in and tied it up the way i wanted it to uh but yeah it looks like that very cheap quality but for 10 pounds i really can't get annoyed of anyone so um i saw another girl and she did a gamis haul as well and she featured these br brushes which were eight pounds 94 pence the only brushes i really own are like real techniques brushes and then i have the odd expensive brush that i've like brought on a one off so i just wanted to try out some of these little cheaper brushes and see if they were worth saving some coin on four of these brushes look the same let me show you they are basically the same and in the photo there's not two slanted brushes but here in real life i've got two slanted brushes then you get two they're supposed to be different as well but they're basically the same round top brushes but they literally look identical to me there's not much difference so just bear that in mind when you're getting these brushes i'm gonna give it a go and let you guys know how i feel about that tea always soothes me when i'm ill Oh, it's not too cold now. Last but not least is this cute little velvet high waist bra set. Um, I saw a girl do a haul on Gamis. So when I was looking for Gamis, Gamis is one of those websites. There's so much on there and you have to really, really filter to the good stuff, in my opinion, personally. Like, there's just so much crap that I just wouldn't consider buying. I saw this and I thought, cute. But when I received it, 
it came in this bag with some kind of like string tied around it. So, Zaffle. So, is this Gamis or is this Zaffle? I think Za um, Zaffle is the partner company to this company. But it's just a bit weird that you're receiving packages from a company which isn't in their branded massive logo, Zaffle. This is the bra. I got it in extra large because I do have big, bigger breasts. And look at the back. This is just so, it's very, very stretchy, which is amazing because I think I got it in large, so the big size they do, but look, no matter how big your back is, this is gonna fit you extremely stretchy. So I feel like it's made for a variety of different people. It isn't very supportive, I can't lie to you, um, but it's cute if I wanted to wear this maybe underneath something um, on a night out, like with, a, with like a mesh top or a see-through top just to show off that, oh, I've got a little velvet bra on. Then it comes with these pants that are high-waisted, Am I showing you the right way? I think so, high, okay, I'll show you this way. So they're high-waisted and they've got this cute little extra bit at the side so it's not just thigh out there, thigh doing a lot. I call these like nappy pants because they're so big. Look, that's covering my whole bum cheek. Like you're not getting no cheek action in that. But I really don't know where I'd wear this to. I think it's just, to have cute to lounge around in, do a pump and eye and just put this on but Practicality, not really practical for me, but it's cute. Oh, I've got one more thing. Let me just go and get it because I'm so excited. I need to put that in the microwave, Jesus. I've been seeing everyone go around with these massive duster duvet jackets. I have to call them duvet jackets because they're massive. Honestly, I was looking at them like, I need to get on that wave. So I did buy myself a winter jacket this year. It was quite pricey and I was like, am I really gonna go and like, buy another jacket for maybe 40, 50 quid that I know is not warm, but it's just to be on trend. When I got this voucher from Gamis, I was like, yes, I'm gonna take up the opportunity to look for a jacket. So I was searching on the website for ages and I found this jacket. On the website, I'm gonna be very honest, it looked a lot more expensive than it is. These are what I call fashion jackets because it is massive. It looks massive and it looks like a duvet, but it's just full of air. It's not keeping you warm in any way. It goes all the way down to the floor. I've just got this brand new and there's threads coming out. Another thing I thought was a bit weird about this jacket is that the pockets are like, liftable and because they're liftable they're not part of the jacket it just bulks out unnecessarily it has a different label on them gamis it doesn't say gamis on it it says funky town but then the actual label looks like a zara label can you guys see that like literally the layout and everything is this a zara is this gamis or is this funky town like, that tea is giving me some serious gas man thank you guys for watching the video i hope like <laughs> I hope that this was an honest enough um, review for you. Overall, would I shop in Gamis with my own money? Probably not. Just because I feel like some of the listings are a bit deceiving. The pictures aren't of the actual product. I think the only one really that was of the actual product was the poncho, the bralette, but the bralette came from Zaffle, and the jacket, but the jacket came from Funky Town. So it's like, oh, and also they're like the one piece that was similar to the listing, but it was blue and the listing was grey. The things that had um, branding from different places were true to the photos that were on the website, but then the ones that were actually, I can, uh, I'm presuming, Gamis, um, were remakes of the photos that are on the website, and I think that's a little bit wrong as a company. I don't think you should be deceiving customers, but that's all I can say. Overall, not a bad review. I'm happy with a lot of the things I've got. I'm happy with the makeup brushes, um, the coat, uh, maybe I just got a bad order, I don't know. Maybe I just, I'm not very good at shopping online, you know, because my size just varies because I'm curvy. Thank you guys for watching the video. If you enjoyed the video and you enjoyed how much I chat, then please subscribe. Um, there's a little notification button next to the subscribe button. I'd love it if you could click that so you're notified when I post videos. That is literally all I have to say to you guys. Have a blessed week as always. Thank you for tuning in. I love you lot a lot. I love you lot a lot. English honor. Bye pounds that is ten dollars ten pounds it's getting confusing